Hi everybody. I've had many requests asking, how do you do a um, portrait from photographs? And I realized that that's something you all will have to do and maybe it's the only way you work. Um, I guess to answer the question, um, how do you do it from photographs? Well, the answer is you work from life as much as you can. You work from the model and you go back to the plane's head and go back to the timeless geometry and the proportions and the anatomy. And that's the only way you'll have a chance at making a lifelike portrait from a photograph. So it's a little bit counterintuitive. There's no secret um, to using photographs. Photographs are simply a tool and that's how you should view them. They're just a tool, they're a reference. Um, every portrait artist from the dawn of, you know, time has, has been trying to get the job done. And they used all kinds of tools to get the job done, whether it was measuring or, uh, you know, some painters used like camera obscura, um, they used grid patterns, whatever they had to do to um, save time and energy and make a more accurate, more um, beautiful result. So just view the computer and the camera and the image as just another tool, like, like one of your sculpture tools. Don't be a slave to it. Instead, you wanna be empowered by your knowledge base and your, um, your natural talents and your love of people. And that's what's gonna make a great portrait. So in this case, I have a commission coming up where I have to sculpt a posthumous portrait and posthumous just means that the that the subject is no longer living so in that case you have to use photographs and this is the um, the first um, I, I believe the first native president of um, Nigeria and may, maybe you saw I already did the first native born president of Kenya and I'm doing it for an African charity who really wants to highlight African leaders so um, here I've just, you know, I'm sort of limited to whatever's online. So I did a quick Google search of his name and then I, you know, clicked images. And, you know, in this case, this man's been dead for quite a while. And the images that they want to use are when he's younger. So I'm even more limited. Um, that you could look at that as being a frustrating thing, or you could look at that as, uh, well, maybe I only have three good options here, and that will pretty much determine um, what I'm gonna do. Now, it's up to me how I'm gonna arrange the body. I sort of like this, this position, this action of him. I want to show the drapery. I think that's very uh, Nigerian, that, that bright white billowy drapery. Um, I like his hat. I may omit the, the, the glasses. And then within the face, I'm gonna to have to decide whether I want um, a serious expression or a um, happy expression. So those are, those are the kinds of things I'm considering. The size of this will be under life size. It's already been determined by the client. So that's already um, determined. And I would say, you know, it's, it's easier perhaps to do a smaller posthumous portrait than a life size one. Um, that's just my gut on this issue. But again, um, the secret to doing strong portraits and photographs that are Full of life is work from life as much as you can. So I'm going to do this in a time-lapse video so it'll be sped up and I hope you find it fruitful and I hope you enjoy it.